a typical person would never say that they believe themselves to be God. Would never express that. Would probably that wouldn't really enter their mind that they are God. And yet, that's precisely what Satan attempted to bring to Eve in the temptation in the garden, and might very well be something that he's trying to get in you. You just don't necessarily come out and say, or inside believe that you are God, but there is Satan pulling us in a direction. We see this in Genesis 3 as we've been reflecting through the Bible. Uh, the first several verses in Genesis 3, particularly verse 5 now, Satan tells Eve that, that in the day you eat from this tree, you will be like God. That's the temptation, that you will be like God. Now, ultimately what Satan wants is to try to persuade you to want to be in the driver's seat. Because what's the difference here? They, they were already made in the image of God, so in a form that they, they are like God, uh, and yet there's something to attain that they don't have. So what is it they didn't have? They didn't have absolute control. They had a limitation placed on them. They couldn't eat from this tree. And Satan was calling them to be like God in the sense that you won't have this limitation. Now, next week we'll get into the knowing good and evil portion of this, but you don't have access to that tree. God has no limitations placed on him, but you, you have a limitation placed on him, on you. So why don't you throw off that limitation and eat from this tree? And you'll be like God without limitation. Now, he, he tries to get us to try to be in the driver's seat where, again, we have control. We get to, to make the decisions. We get to say. And he's really trying to get us to follow after his image because Satan also attempted to usurp the throne of God and to get in the driver's seat. He wanted to be in charge. And really, that's actually the human, typical human expression when you think about it. We want to be in the driver's seat of our lives. We want to be in control of our lives. We want to dictate what happens. Uh, we want things to go our way. We, the basic human nature, desire, and the way we, way we live our lives demonstrates that we want to be in the driver's seat. We want to be like God. We want to be sovereign. We want to have no limitations. We want to be in control. Even our country, if, if you're in America, uh, our American viewpoint is to throw off the shackles and be free, to, to be able to make your own choices and do what you want. And there's Satan calling us, not that there's anything wrong with freedom, but just know that the bent, the draw, is to have total liberty, total freedom, to have no restraints placed on us. And, and somewhat in there is Satan giving that same call. You will be like God if you throw off these limitations. We even have Christian forms of that. Uh, how many people want to live their own Christian life separate from everybody else? And the reason is because I don't want limitations placed on me. I don't want someone to hold me accountable to this, hold me accountable to that. I want to make my own choices and form my own beliefs. And again, that's us attempting to place ourselves in the driver's seat. And in the midst of that, it's subtle. It's not an overt sin. But in there, in the midst of that, is Satan saying, come on. Throw off the limitations. Don't be limited to being a part of the group. Don't allow other people to try to put restrictions on you. Don't allow people to try to hold you accountable. Just throw off the limitations and you will be like God. Satan is still calling the same kind of strategy towards us. Throw off the limitations and you will be like God. Now, some have going, gone all the way to the heights of believing themselves to be God or a part of God. They will use scripture and twist it to make it mean this. Uh, the Mormon faith, they believe that they can become God, uh, a God. Uh, there are many New Age beliefs that uh, don't necessarily fall under that title New Age where they believe that we can become a part of God. There's, there's pantheism where all of us have elements of God in us. 
ideas and people try to grab verses like in John, uh, Jesus saying, I am in you and you are in me, kind of, uh, and he, he is in the Father concept. But we aren't, we aren't uh, God in his nature. We aren't. Uh, we might be like him in various ways, but we're not God. And Satan is still today, it's just amazing. He's using the same strategies. If we pay attention to Genesis chapter three, particularly verses one through seven, we will see his lies and we should be able to identify them and resist that. And the, the odd thing is, is that Satan is, is trying to tempt us to accept something that we're to, to go a route to get something, to go a wrong route to get something that we already have. He says, you will be like God. And yet in Genesis chapter one, it says that God created us in the image of God. We are already like God. And yet Satan wants us to pervert this by defining the way we become like God is to throw off limitations, which actually is also a perversion of who God is. God doesn't have, he doesn't uh, have no limitations. He is limited in the sense that God in Titus, it says God cannot lie. Uh, God cannot be tempted, the Bible says. So God, uh, because of who he is, won't do certain things because he's, he's too pure. And because of his pureness and holiness, he is limited in that he won't become evil. He won't become deceitful. Uh, he won't become those things. And so this was Satan attempting to pervert who God is so that we can take the wrong route in trying to become like him. Uh, just when, when Satan tries to, to do that to you, just recognize who God is and who you are and say, no, I don't need to throw off my limitations to be like God. I'm already like God, I'm made in his image. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, if you have any questions about the, the content of this video, please uh, leave that in the comments. I'd love to answer your questions or if they're private, you can message me on Facebook or you can email me at D, uh, D isn't Danny, D-L-E-V-E-C-K at BethelPGH.org. Uh, please like the video again, share it, comment on it, help us to share this with others. Uh, we'd so be, so be appreciative of that yeah, or the series in its entirety. And then if you would, if you're on YouTube, please uh, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification button so you'll be notified when videos are available. If you're on Facebook, please follow our page and you'll be notified when videos are available. Let's go and be like God in the pure sense, not in the twisted way. God bless you.